Jurassic World, one of the few dinosaur-themed movies that I've seen other than Ice Age 3. Hello and welcome to Cinema Clips as I give a quick review and breakdown of this movie. Characters. We've got Raptor Chad, we've got Claire, we've got Vincent, we've got Nerd, we've got Dr. Wu, we've got Kid, and we've got Gigasim. I mean, come on dude, don't you have anything better to do in your life? I mean, look at me, I'm into way better things. That's my search history. Now, I haven't really seen very much of the live action movies, except for some clips. I've seen a few of the Lego ones with some of my younger siblings. I mean, do those count? Jokes aside, I think the visuals for this movie are amazing. Mixing CG with real life is always hard and needs to be on point to look realistic, even harder when that thing is animated. I'll get into the CG a bit later, but first, the plot. Now, I have heard quite a lot of people saying that it's got a very basic plot. I mean, it could be summed up quite easily. They make Big Dinosaur, Big Dinosaur gets out, Big Dinosaur eats a lot of people, Big Dinosaur lets out other dinosaurs, Hero has to come save the day, Big Dinosaur must die. And you know what? That's fine. This is not Oceans. This is a Jurassic Park movie. It doesn't need to have an amazing plot. And it had actually quite a good storyline, I think. It had um, an amazing CGI. And no matter how much plot armor these characters have got, I still find myself biting my nails at the edge of my seat, pissing my pants at how close these instances were getting. And I'm a guy that has watched all the seasons of Knight Rider, A-Team, MacGyver, all those shows that love to have the clock tick down to zero before they deactivate it. But I like how there's multiple stories rather than just the people hunting down the dinosaur. I like the, the brothers. Their family seems to be going through some hard times and it's nice to see their characters develop along the way. Honestly, you don't need to go to a therapist, you just need to go to Jurassic Park when there's an anomaly. Honestly, I think that could have been a story in itself. Also, there's the Vincent Hopkins and his military raptors. Now obviously he's the antagonist in here, but I do find him quite an interesting character. Throughout the whole film, he's actually quite interested in the project and likes to get hands on. Also, he's not a stranger to rogue animals, should I say. Quite refreshing from the classic rich guy that's disinterested in what's going on and is just looking for the quick buck. Now personally, I do not agree with having raptors running around, especially for the military, but it's a nice side plot and it's also a good reason to have uh, Chris Pratt, <clears throat> sorry, Owen, to be training raptors to follow commands like dogs. And the CGI and visuals, yep, I think they went really well. I think they, the CGI was quite good and they used it appropriately as well. Sometimes when they overuse CGI for everything in movies, it just looks rubbish and cheap, no matter how much effort they put into it. I definitely think the final fight is a good example of this because I'm ultimately, well not 100% certain which parts are CG and which parts are real. Although being a movie of its time, I'm pretty sure a lot of it is shot practically with the exception of the Indominus. I think my personal favourite example of this is this one minute long uh, single take shot of the final fight between the T-Rex and the Indominus. I'm pretty sure they used some editing tricks to make the, to stitch multiple clips together because half it looks CG and then there's also a lot of probably real, uh, real life stuff in it. But I think um, it's extraordinary and especially in a fight scene, it makes it feel more immersive when there's less camera takes since it actually feels more like you're there rather than you're just watching quick clips that someone is stitched together. Obviously, I think the actors are real. But some of the parts that look so real, especially when things are breaking, so i like to see more behind the scenes on that. I'm just going to wrap this up by saying that I really enjoyed this movie, I think it was really well executed, I had a lot of fun watching it, and even though I do find criticisms and breakdowns quite um, useful and quite intuitive, sometimes I just um, would like to give a hand to the people that made this and brought this to the big screen. That's all I have to say today, so... Now please hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And cut.